Hey, it's Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Today, let's talk about whether vitamin B12 supplements can cause cancer. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you the research on B12 supplements causing cancer, the results of those studies, and sum it all up at the end with my thoughts. Let's take a look at some of the studies. So we've got this investigation here coming out of the UK involving about 1,500 people, 50 to 69 years of age. And these researchers come to the conclusion that both uh, vitamin B12 and folic acid are associated with an increased risk of prostate cancer. Not the only study, let's look at some others. Here's another investigation coming out of 2019 with a very ominous title, is vitamin B12 a cause of lung cancer? So another pretty big study, about 5,183 people here. These researchers likewise come to the conclusion that higher levels of vitamin B12 are associated with a greater overall risk of getting lung cancer in a dose response fashion. In other words, the higher the B12 level, the greater the risk of of lung cancer. Hmm. All right, let's look at this study. So we've got this one coming out of uh, from 2020, apprising the role of circulating concentrations of micronutrients in ovarian cancer risk. These researchers are getting their data from the Ovarian Cancer Association Consortium. It's a pretty big study. Over 25,000 people are involved in this investigation. These researchers likewise come to this very interesting conclusion. Increased levels of vitamin B12 could increase the risk for ovarian cancer tumors. Hmm, all right. And then we have this very interesting study which got some attention a few years ago. Long-term supplemental vitamin B use in relation to lung cancer risk in the vitamins and lifestyle uh, cohort, the vital trial. So right off the bat, they're telling you that they're getting their data from another study. It's called the vital cohort study. Essentially, it was an investigation of the characteristics of people who took vitamins. Are they men? Are they women? How old they are, et cetera. Very, very big study. So for 77,000 people involved in this investigation, they these researchers come to some very interesting conclusions. Let's unpack them here. The use of supplemental vitamins B6, B12, and folic acid was not associated with lung cancer risk in women. So ladies, you're off the hook, at least according to this study. But in men, another story, B6, both B6 and vitamin B12 from individual supplements, but not multivitamins, was associated with up to as much as a 40% increase in lung cancer risk among us men. So what they're saying here is multivitamins, not a problem, but taking individual supplements of either B6 or vitamin B12 was increased, was it was associated with an increased risk of lung cancer, and that was almost a doubling of lung cancer risk in those who took the highest amount of either B6 or B12. I will point out the dosage here. They, they do mention it here. Greater than 55 micrograms of vitamin B12 a day, almost a doubling of lung cancer risk. Uh, food for thought, the RDA for vitamin B12 is only 2.4 micrograms a day. So go take a look at how much your multivitamins and your other supplements have. And then lastly, as if there, you needed another reason not to smoke, uh, the incidence of lung cancer was even higher in those who smoked and took vitamin B6 and B12. Okay, so we've got several studies here appearing to show that B12 increases the risk of lung cancer and other cancers. What are my thoughts on this? Number one, the vast majority of these studies are associations. They look at data from a bunch of people, they follow them for several years, and they say, well, people who took vitamin B12 supplements get more cancer. That's an interesting association, but it's not a cause and effect conclusion right off the bat. What we really need are randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trials where you give people vitamin B12 supplements or a placebo and follow them for several years to see what happens. Right now, we do not have those studies. My hope is that they're in the pipeline and one day we'll have a definitive answer. Something else is, I would say, is look at the vitamin B12 in your supplements right now. Your multivitamins, your other supplements you're taking, also maybe maybe those energy drinks you may be taking. For instance, you know, because vitamin B12 is all over energy drinks. Why the energy in energy drinks does not come from vitamin B12, it comes from caffeine. So that's something else to be aware of if you're concerned about this. Uh, so look at, look at all the vitamin B12 in your different supplements. 
And then ask yourself, do you need vitamin B12 supplements? This is an interesting vitamin to, to, to point out to you that we actually store vitamin B12 in our body. You got about one or two years of vitamin B12 in your body right now for the most part. Those people who probably would need a vitamin B12 supplement could be people over the age of 50 because they don't absorb it so well. Vegans, if they're not getting B12 in their diet, there's not a lot of vitamin B12 in vegetarian sources. And even people who take some medications, some medications might deplete vitamin B12 levels. So those are some people who might need a B12 supplement, but the only way to know for sure is to get your levels of B, vitamin B12 tested. Your doctor can do this with a simple blood test and you can see if you're in the range or above the range. And if you're above the range, well then maybe you might wanna cut back on your vitamin B12 levels just to be on the safe side until we have better data. Generally speaking, I think vitamin B12 is for the most part safe. I'm not yet convinced on these studies if they are uh, damning in terms of whether vitamin B12 causes cancer or not. I really wanna see better studies. Hopefully we will one day. So there you have it. What do you think? Do you think about vitamin B12 and cancer? Do you think there's a relationship? Let me know below. And if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below and uh, I'll let you know if I can help you out. Until next time, I'm Joe from supplementclarity.com. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And if you want more information, sign up for my free newsletters at supplementclarity.com. Until next time, I'll talk to you.